Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 5. Today is episode number 22. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be going back to the, I think it was the Amateur Series, and we are going to be doing the uh, Truck Championship. I can't remember the name of it, um, but what we're going to be doing is we're going to be taking this Dodge Ram. Uh, the Dodge Ram is a really powerful truck. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to bump it up with a little bit of extra power, uh, which is always very useful in these kind of cars. Um, and gives us the a little bit of an edge uh, over the rest of the competition as well. Um, chuck on a catalytic converter. <coughs> um, and... Hmm. Tyres. Let's have a look at these. Do we have... What do we have at the moment? Comfort Softs. Ooh. Uh, let's get some Sports Medium on. I feel like those would be a... a decent improvement. Um, I feel like Sports Hards might not transmit the power as efficiently. Um, but we are literally just doing this race just so we can get um, the... What is it? The final gold trophy, uh, so we can get a couple of extra parts. So first of all, is the Mazda Raceway Laguna Seca, and then we are moving over to Daytona International. Right, so we are here at my favourite track, the Laguna Seca, and we are going to be... Uh, wow, we are driving these trucks, and they look absolutely amazing. So let's do this. So we are in the Dodge Ram. We've got a silver coloured one. Uh, I painted it a different colour because I didn't like the horrible green it came with. Oh gosh, this is slow. And then the car kicks up with extra power. Dodge Ram in front of us here. Let's see if we can overtake. Oh! I am sorry, not sorry. There we go. Nice. Perfect. I honestly love the Laguna Seca track so much. It is... I've mentioned this so many times in this series. But the Laguna Seca, I love the court screw, it's my favourite corner. Um, as well, I think it's because um, of Real Racing, uh, Real Racing 3 in particular. I used to play that game so much while I was out and about, and um, just being able to, like, oh, it was just so much fun to drive down the court screw in that game. And uh, Mount Panorama or whatever is absolutely amazing as well. And since getting the wheel, it's actually really cool to be able to uh, experience those tracks with um, the realism and the simulation feel. Um, especially playing games like Project Cars. That is really good to play that. Right, on to lap number two now. Perfect. Come on, come on, come on. Nice. Very close there. Brakes, very nice. That 
corner is a little bit risky, and that's why I like that corner so much, because it is, you sort of have to be aware of what, how fast your car is going before you hit that corner. Perfect. Oh, nearly spun the car out there. Perfect. Right, slowing down for the corner here. Oh, just made it round. Perfect. Nice. Polishes, waxes, and cleaners. <laughs> the advertisements in this game are crazy. It's just so random. You get so many random different advertisements in this. Nice. Perfect. Nicely done here. Right, second to last corner. Awesome. And coming up to the finish line. Perfect. Five minutes 33, that's a very good time. And there was two other rams as well, and we had about three Silverados all in red. It's right, so we are now at the Daytona Super Speedway. Uh, we are, oh, it's a rolling start. Okay, nice, double file. Two, one. Go! Let's see how quick this truck can go. Chevrolet Silverado SS in front. There's another, what looks like a Chevrolet Prowler mixed with some other thing. I don't know. Whoa, watch it. Here we go, we're coming up onto a Ford SVT over here. Come on, come on, come on. There are extra gears, but we need to get fast enough to get those extra gears. Nice. Perfect. It's constantly telling us to slow down, but we've obviously got better tyres than it thinks. Whoa, watch it. No! Why are they all overtaking me? 
Right. But, we have the power of speed on our side. There is a car trying to pit me at the, behind me at the moment. Let's try and not lose this race. Oh, come on. How are you going so quick? Right, let him go in front. And then try and follow in his slipstream as much as possible. Come on, this is a fight to death. Staying behind, you're staying behind me, you're staying behind me. No! Ah, oh, right at the finish. Oh, how did you do that? 0 0.029, just now, right past. To be fair though, it is a telltale sign we're in a shit truck, because you can see all the SVTs are at the back, and the rams are at the very, very back, and we're in a ram. So, and then the Tacomas were all towards the front. So, I think that's saying something. Right, so what we're going to be doing now is we are going to be doing the Japanese Championship, and we are going to be driving this Nissan GTR Spec V. It costs us around about 170,000 credits, I think. Um, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go through some customization options. Um, I feel like I want BBS rims because y you guys know I love BBS rims. Um, would that? No, I, th I still think BBS is my favorite. Like, just look at that. They look awesome. So we're going to go for some BBS rims for this car. Um, and also, I'm going to see if I can paint them black. Um, I know that sort of counteracts the entire thing. Yes, they look good. Right, paint that. In you go. And we got black rims. That looks awesome. I love that. Right, aero parts. Let's see what we can get. So we can get a front lip. And side skirts. That looks very good, actually. Um, rear. Oh, we can get a diffuser. Yes, we're putting that on. Uh, then we can get some big front canards. Yes, please. And. Oh, big rear wing. What's the difference between the standard wing? I feel like big wing, yes. 32,000 for that. That's the most expensive aero upgrades, but we're going with it. Right, next up as well is going to be uh, performance. Um, I have a feeling because they're all Japanese cars, this car is like the most powerful Japanese car out there, pretty much. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'm only going to do minor upgrades, so like air filter, exhaust, and um, ECU as well. Um, we could do a stage one as well, so I think we'll do that as well. Because we've got plenty of money for it. Like, we've just managed to squeeze out another 40 brake horsepower just like that. Uh, air filter always helps. There we go, nice. Saving data. Uh, exhaust. We'll go for the cheap one. And then the catalytic converter as well. Perfect. How much would a turbo kit cost, though? For the max one to get 676 is 20,000. 
I feel like that much power we don't need in a Nissan. Bad. Uh, it has sports hards at the moment, but I feel like sports mediums might be better because it gives a uh, slightly better grip. Um, so let's go for those. And we should be good to go. Um, maybe one uh, weight loss upgrade as well. There we go, sorted. Right, let's go back to the home page. And we are going to start the championship. Um, so we are doing the Japanese championship. Um, I'm not actually sure which uh, races we're doing. It's this championship here. So we have a lot of races and they are all very long races as well. So we're going to go straight into the championship with this GTR and see how well it goes. Right, so we're at the Sakuba circuit for the first race of the Japanese championship. And I saw our GTR come past then. Um, so we're going to make sure our traction control is reduced. Uh, and we've got a manual transmission. Nice. Let's go. Race numero uno. Nice. Let's go. Okay, yes, we are destroying all of these cars this time. I feel like we didn't need the upgrades. At all. Nice. I like the Sakuba circuit. It's a very nice circuit. But I feel like faster cars can't drive it. So there's this GTR almost feels like it's pushing the limits of the track. Um, but other cars, I don't feel like... Like, if you were to get a racing Zonda or a racing GTR on this, not a chance. Not a chance if we go around this track. And we are doing 10 laps as well, which is insane. Awesome. Right, onto the brakes. Perfect. That was a perfect line through there. So you need to keep an eye on tire temperatures and stuff like that. I still haven't worked out how to turn tire depletion on. I also haven't been bothered, but... The setting isn't, I don't think, on driving options. The kind of, I don't know, annoying part about the Sakuba circuit is there isn't any more to the circuit. This is literally the only circuit that Sakuba offers. It offers one circuit where you can cut that corner there and go straight down the main straight. So it's literally like a J-shaped track. But I wish there was more to this track. Because there is so much potential for this section of the circuit. Though it does appeal as a small circuit. I feel like there is just so much potential that's lost on this track. Awesome. Looking very good so far, time-wise. I love this sound, though. The hiss... The turbo whistle turbo hiss. To be fair, even though we're in a GTR, we're not that far ahead 
of Bradford, second place. Awesome. Oh, look at that view. That aero package was so worth it. And then this is the interior, which looks really good. The one thing I like about Gran Turismo is when they made the GTR interior for uh, GT5 Prologue and also this, they absolutely nailed it. They got it perfect. Like, look how nice this is. There is a lot of camera wobble, though. And I feel like it doesn't look that great on a recording. So, uh, we won't be staying long in this camera view. I just feel like we need to enjoy this interior. now halfway through the race and we are pretty much five minutes in our best lap so far as well was the second lap so we're gonna try and beat that probably not on this lap because I think we've cocked it a little bit but maybe on the next lap we could beat that sub 50 sub 59 time would be great Oh, we got the sub 59 and we weren't even trying to beat the time that lap. It was this lap that I was aiming to beat the time on. So we might actually beat another lap time then. Perfect. We are 10 seconds ahead of second place right now. We didn't beat it. Unbelievable. I was expecting to beat it almost like... I thought this car would have been powerful enough to beat that lap time, but apparently not. Perfect. I am loving this game, but I'm looking forward even more to playing uh, Gran Turismo 6 right after this series. Uh, mainly because of the fact that I've never played that game before ever never touched it i've looked at like a couple of videos on like the introduction missions um just to see whether the style of game would be possible to play or because whenever i pick a new game i'll always play normally either watch a little bit of it or play a little bit personally to judge whether i'm going to do a live stream series or a video series and normally the factors that go into deciding whether it's going to be a live stream or a video is the quality of the game. So if the game plays at 60 FPS, 1080p, it's most likely going to be a video just because I can get all that quality in um, and people can enjoy the game more. 
Um, but if it's things like uh, much lower quality, like, for example, uh, Ghost Recon Breakpoint, which is a plan I'm having at some point, that format, along with being a multiplayer game, but the format is much better for a live stream series than a video series. Um, but yeah, I've seen a bit of Gran Turismo 6 already and it is looking, it looks really good. So I'm looking forward to playing that as soon as this is finished. I don't actually know how much longer this series is going to take though, which is, uh, could be a bit of a problem. Come on, come on. Awesome. Oh, this is the final lap. Come on, let's get a good final corner. 59.003. I will take that for a very good final lap. 9 minutes, 57 seconds, point five eight one, which is a very good time as well. On to the next race. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date with all the stuff going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to go take a look in the description for links of socials and all sorts of other places. And also we have finally got merch down there, so go check that out. And if you want to help support the channel, hit that join button, it means the world to me. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. Run for your fucking life.